Matt Lauer's firing the other day surprised most people, but not everyone. Melissa Francis co-hosts Fox's After the Bell, which is a great show. All the way back in April of this year, she said several television networks were full of sexual predators and that managers knew exactly who those predators were. Melissa Francis has been in TV a long time, so she would know. She joins <laughs> us tonight. Not that long, but, but yeah, long careful, enough to careful, know. Tucker. Yeah. So, so you said, I remember exactly when you said this. Yeah. Just restate what you said and explain why you said it. So I had the bad fortune of going out to promote my book, Lessons from the Prairie, the day after Bill O'Reilly was fired from our network. So when yeah. I went to other networks to do the tour, and Hoda and Kathy Lee were kind enough to have me on their morning show, yeah. one of the questions everyone asked me, which is fair, we would do the same thing, they said to me, what the heck is going on over at Fox? And I said, you know, we're going through a period that's really painful, um, you know, and we're embarrassed by what's going on and we're working yeah. on it, but I have something to tell you. Why you're throwing stones at us and saying, is this part of the Fox culture? Does it, what does it have to do with what's going on over here? I think you know that your network is full of predators as well, as are all of them. Um, yeah. These people exist at every single network, and I could tell you who they are, and I bet you know who they are. And, you know, I said this to a lot of different news outlets as I went so out there. Yeah. And, um, you know, at the time, I have to say, when I was at NBC, uh, you know, I had colleagues who I knew of who were assaulted by people sexually. And, you know, one woman who was a friend of mine came to me in tears and I said, you need to go report this. I've seen you in tears after this incident. I would be happy to support you. Um, and she said, I don't think they'll do anything about it. And I said, well, call Gloria Allred. We're in the media. You know, have a news conference, stand out there on the street corner. And this woman in particular, who I have a ton of respect for, said, and I'll never work in this industry again. And I've worked really hard to get to this point, And I don't want to throw away my whole career. And there were others who were assaulted and who were harassed. And those people, some are still at NBC, and others have gone on to the other big networks. What about what about the people who com who committed uh, these acts? Those the are people the people, was, yeah. Uh, the, and they're still at yes. NBC, yeah. And the other networks. I mean, I want to be clear: yeah. it's not an NBC problem. It's not no, a Fox problem. No, that's right. It's a world. I think we're learning. It's not about any political persuasion. It's not about a network. It's not about. I mean, this is one of our makeup artists said. You know, this is happening at the post office. This is happening at the, you know, at sanitation department. It's everywhere. But people are paying attention to it in certain industries because it's more interesting. But I would say this the people who committed these acts still work at these networks. And yeah. these women have been afraid to come forward. They need to know that they can. My husband said to me at the time, Why haven't more women come out at other networks? And I said, I don't know. I hope it comes to that. I hope they feel like they'll be heard and they come out. But those men still work there. And I, I think they're, I'm sure their names are come out. It's not my yep. place to name them because I wasn't the one assaulted. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fully yeah. aware of what you're talking about. Melissa, yeah. thank you. Thank you mm. for that. That was yeah. prescient, to put it mildly. Thank you.